Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I let you know that Windows 11 24H2 now supports JPEG XL image format. And I showed you how to enable it. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now just a quick recap, JPEG XL is a new and royalty free image format that has better image compression than typical JPEG files while maintaining high quality. And just to let you know that I've recently noticed in Firefox Nightly, which is currently sitting on version 138, which is the latest preview version, that the JPEG XL is now being tested as a Firefox Labs feature in this early preview version of the browser. So if you just head into our settings, head over to Firefox Labs, here you've got web page display jpeg xl with this feature enabled nightly supports the jpeg xl.jxl format this is an enhanced image file format that supports lossless transition from traditional jpeg files and so on now this is interesting because the stable version of firefox does not have jpeg xl image for format support and i thought i'd just kind of bring this to your attention if you are using Firefox because it seems now that this image format is becoming a lot more popular. It's now available in 24H2 and it seems that Firefox is also heading in that direction now. Now if we head over to this website, JXL Art Gallery, it says this page only works if your browser has JXL support. Okay, so if I scroll down, although it's an art gallery, it'll show me the JPEG XL image format images on this web site and this web page which obviously now is supported in Firefox Nightly as you can see. Now if I head over to the stable version of Mozilla Firefox, the same website, and I scroll you can see no images. So the stable version of Firefox does not have JPEG XL image format. So this is going to be interesting and as mentioned uh, in that video I posted yesterday, some other benefits that JPEG XL brings to the table is uh, it has better compression efficiency. Um, it supports lossless and lossy compression. It supports transparency. It has support for HDR and a wide range of colors. It has progressive loading support and it's also backward com compatible. So it um, seems that this now is becoming more widely available and that Firefox is heading in that direction. And obviously, if and when that does roll out to the stable, I don't see why it wouldn't. But if and when it does... I'll try and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.